That was a bunny. That was a rabbit. Oh, there. Yeah. That. M oh, I meant. Dude, that rabbit was <laughs> right there. And <laughs> he ran right in front of us. Okay, okay so. so we need to be smart. Because he's going to stop. He's on YouTube. It's your country cousin, 205 Country Boy. Um, This is going to be an intro for yesterday's video. So I didn't get to kind of explain what me and Larry was doing yesterday. So yesterday, me and Larry, we came out to Countryland. I mean, just look how beautiful that is back there. Oh, man. We're going to shoot some bangers out here when the bass fishing get good. But anyway, yesterday we got three squirrels and oh my god we saw probably i want to say anywhere between 25 30 squirrels a lot of squirrels we did a lot of missing um larry knocked two down injured one i knocked two down i mean i knocked one down and injured two um the thing with these pellets you have to get a precise shot and the squirrels was just not letting me get close enough to them to get a comfortable shot so a lot of shots i was shooting them in their arm right? So we finna get up in these woods and um, y'all finna start looking at the GoPro footage in three, two, one. I like how it sound. It sounds good. Stop. 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 All right, squirrely squirrel. Oh, I see one. Let's go. Yes, sir. That's a dead squirrel. I got it. I'm finna push up on him. All right. Go ahead. I'm gonna get up close. It's a nest right here. You want to try it? I mean, we can. All right. I need a 12 gauge instead of a what's it called? Instead of a, instead of these. Let's let's try. God damn. That's the yeah. <laughs> what you shooting, player? Yeah, twenty to mag. <laughs> I got him. I got him. He's coming on your side. That one. Oh, he's hanging on to the trail. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, oh, there you go. He's out of there. I don't think that's the one we had on the ground. You don't? Uh-uh. I think I seen one on the top of that tree, but I'm not too sure. I seen some move. But I could There's one barking back behind you. Here. Yeah. That's a gray squirrel. Let's grab that one and then let's loop that way. Alright, so guys, Lair got two. I have zero. <laughs> but to be fair, you are shooting a belly gun and it is like really woody right here. It's kind of thick, so, so. anything that, that pellet hits is gonna deflect the bullet. Put this gun on safety. Just yeah, I'm on safety. Let me show the camera. Look, we going safety. Yeah, me too. We're on safety. So. Don't want to see any hate comments. You blowed him up too. Want me to give him a shot, or he good? No, he's he's most definitely dead. Oh, okay. Cause I had one do me like that, and I swear to God, he jumped on my arm and ran down my back. I took a head shot with a pellet gun and he sit there and laid there and once I grabbed him, he ran up my arm, went down my back. <laughs> Thank right. God he didn't bite me or anything. But that's why you always gotta give him a little little pokey poke. Nudge, yeah. But remember. when I shot him, he was eating something, he just went. I'm like, oh yeah, he dead. <laughs> he I went to grab him. <laughs> I, I dropped the gun, everything. Uh, all right. Let's um, loop. Back that way, you think? You wanna go out and then loop or you wanna Push we straight through. Here. I guess we All right. Is my camera flashing? Yes, sir. Right. I'm flashing, player. Yep. Uh -huh. Yeah, y'all check Larry out. Squirrel number two. Squirrel number two from Legendary Larry. Yes, sir. Squirrels are kind of cute. Oh, that was a bunny. That was a rabbit. Oh, there. That, that rabbit was <laughs> right there. <and laughs> he ran right in front of us. Okay, okay so. so we need to be smart. 
Because he's, he's going to stop. in that tree somewhere. And he's going to stop. He's so, going to stay still. Here, I'm going to put this. We're going to remember this spot because that tire. So, I mean, he was down up in right there. there. We were, he's, that's exactly where he was. We definitely need that. Huh? We definitely need that rabbit. Yeah. Okay. So, huh. we have a couple options. You can, like, walk around one side. But we don't want to be, like, facing each other so we don't shoot each other. You know yeah. what I mean? So, like, kind of how like we did the tree. Can, like, spook. Yeah. I'd rather me spook it and you shoot it with the 22. You think? I, yeah, I feel more comfortable with her. That was a thick rabbit. I'm not even gonna lie, that rabbit scared the hell out of me. So that's a lot of thick stuff. I don't think so. Last time I seen that white tail, it was right here. So he's gonna be very close. Look at He's not he's not gonna move unless we get right up on him, like he just did. So I could have thought he was ahead of him. You got him? There you go with the pellet gun. Is he running? Go, yeah, go get him, go get him, run, run. <laughs> Greg just got one with the pellet gun. Let's go, baby. There you go with the pellet gun. That's him hard. <laughs> Let's see him. That's a nice little thick one. Female. The next day. I'll show y'all a little bit how to clean a square. I'm not no expert. So to save this video from being demonetized, I'm just gonna show y'all a little bit, not no blood. So this is a gray squirrel. Y'all don't know what a gray squirrel is. So there's two ways you can do this. All right, you can cut up here and pretty much split them open and have this uh, hide come off or you can cut the tail and rip them off. So I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut them this way because that's the way I did last time. Man. The tail's kind of hard, so you don't take your knife Cut. They hide is pretty tough. So you're gonna take this knife, be careful. Take that hide just like that. Do the same thing that. Just pop that off. Ain't too much meat in that. Uh, so I just got done doing this uh, squirrel, right? This man here is about to pick these squirrel guts off the floor with his bare hands. Like that don't phase you. Nope. Not one bit. And right now, what we gonna do? We gonna feed this. We gonna feed the catfish, ain't it, Quill? Oh, he gonna put it on his line. He gonna put it on his line. All right, y'all. Just like that, um, this is not the end of the video. I'm finna go home and do catch. I'm finna go clean. I'm finna go eat the squirrel. We got it. We shot it. We cleaned it. Now it's time to eat it. See y'all at the house in three, two. All right, guys, we made it back home. So now is the time for the eating of the squirrel. All right, so first, before you go in the kitchen, if you're from the South, y'all already know, y'all gotta have soap, water, 
ready. Don't come in the kitchen if you don't got no dishes ready to be washed. All right. So we got our back piece of the squirrel. The front pieces, uh, we got to get better at cleaning the squirrel. But first, what I'm gonna do, I already rinsed these off. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you guys see that like that little white looking stuff. That looks like membrane, and I'm thinking that's what's going to make this scrub tough. So I'm going to take a knife, and I'm going to sit here and get as much of that stuff off as I can. All right, we got a nice, clean, shiny bowl. Take these pieces in here just like this. It's kind of hard doing all this stuff one-handed. Ah, oh, ah, oh, come on, oh, this one's not open. So let's put that back. Let's grab the one that's open. Those are the wood oil. I feel like if you put virgin oil, I mean olive oil, or anything, it just makes it. It just makes it fancy. You know what? I just seen some Tonys chicken marinara you know what it says 30 minutes we can we can let this we'll let this ride for 30 minutes so we're gonna add that last but i'm gonna add a little bit of spice you know you gotta have a little bit of spice in your life but that's a lot okay let's take some lemon pepper there's a couple i usually kind of wait for lemon pepper after it's done frying and throw it on after that's just me. Oh God. <laughs> Alright guys. Um phone died. I got out of season. Um last season I think I was on was on this garlic. I added that. So now I'm gonna take some of this classic Italian herbs and Creole seasoning. Uh, I just put Creole seed. You know what? My last job worked in a restaurant. One of the chefs told me, just try it. Go home and try stuff. That's how you know if you like it. So, just gonna throw that in there. And I say 30 minutes. So, I don't think I can give this 30 minutes because I gotta get up early in the morning and go to work. So, I'm gonna let this sit for 10 minutes in the refrigerator, then I'm gonna come back. All right, guys, so it's been 10 minutes. So, now, time for the fun part, which is cooking. Alright, yeah. right, this thing is been marinating, so it's got all purple flour. See, I'm glad I didn't fry this like this, because I thought I might put some corn in there on high heat. But I know that if this is supposed to come out touching like chicken, yeah, it's supposed to be somewhat in the form of chicken. And it's not going to be done if I was to do it like that. So, I'm going. Take a little bit of flour, not too much. Take this, take one of these. I mean, that is a thick squirrel. All right. Throw that bad boy up in there just like that. I'm gonna go on and throw both of them up in there. Just like that, I'm gonna give them a little whip whip. Okay. I'm kind of used to doing this, so I'm trying to get no flour everywhere. Just get them fully coated. Nothing too crazy. So. Alright. Turn this on the seven. I'm trusting you, Larry. All right, y'all, before I eat this squirrel, my mom said she gonna show me how to make gravy. So I'm finna use this squirrel grease and she gonna make gravy. So y'all finna see, y'all not gonna see my mom this time. A lot of y'all probably know my mom because it's only a certain amount of folks that's watching this. But this video get thousand likes, I'm gonna show my mom. All right, so she gonna show me how to make gravy.
Okay, I'm taking the oil that he fried his squirrel in and um, letting this oil get hot. And I'm adding some flour. Okay, so how much flour you add? And I just put a couple Cheese, cheese tablespoons. So you're eyeballing or you using a zinc? I'm eyeballing. Eyeballing. Okay. And I'm gonna let the flour get brown in here. So you're looking for a coloring or consistency? Yes. I want it. I like dark brown gravy. This gonna thicken up. Yeah, it'll thicken up, especially if you, the meat you fried in it because it has a little flour on it. It'll help thicken it up. Okay. Throw some onions in it. Does it does it matter what kind of onion? I don't like to use white onions, Jack. So white onions. And I put different kind of seasonings in it. It doesn't matter, it's what you prefer. Yes, this is a little Creole seasoning. Give it a little spicy flavor. Add a little garlic. Now this is totally unrehearsed. All these seasonings that my mom is using, I already put on this bread just to show y'all where I get my cooking skills from. I don't know what she gonna pull out next, but probably some I use. Okay, black pepper. I didn't use black pepper, I used lemon pepper. Still the pepper though. Okay, my mama trying to kill me, y'all. She trying to buy this spice in this food. And I'm the only one eating this squirrel. I ain't like she enjoy eating this squirrel with me. So, now you got your little gravy, got a little seasoning to it. I let the onions cook in there. You want to drop your squirrel in the good. I only got two pieces. I don't know what you thought. Well, it's some gravy. You can put, cook some rice and put it over some rice. All right, so put it in there. Yeah, just put it in there. Got my two little nuggets of hard slinging labor of squirrel. I'm just going to let it cook it. Let those onions soften up. And there you go. You got gravy. And just like that. From Country Mom, you got Southern Gravy. All right, guys, Mom is done. I'm gonna show y'all this product. And I can't tell me that don't look good. That look like chicken and gravy. Mm -hmm. That's good right there. If you was to blindfold me and put this in front of me and told me that this was chicken, I would have 100% believed you. This is good. Well, that's going to wrap up the end of this video. I'll catch y'all on the next one.